Just over a month ago, I embarked on a trip to the UK. It was an opportunity to try out Terminal 2 of the Muita Ala Mohamed Airport for the first time. I was eager to see if there was any improvement in the travel experience I was used to traveling through Terminal 1. The summary of my experience, not very good. Yes, there was a new terminal with new facilities, walking chillers, and, and good ambience. But the travel experience was the same, atrocious. I counted 16 stops from the airport entrance to the final boarding. Six stops from the entrance to departure, six stops from departure to pre-boarding, and four stops before boarding. At my 11th stop, yes, I was counting, just after the full body screening, I was accosted by NDLEA officials who again requested my passport and asked me for the fifth time where I was traveling to. At this point, unable to hold my frustration, I engaged the officers in a conversation about how the travel experience of an average Nigerian going through the airport is terrible. I told them as someone who traveled widely, I have never had a worse travel experience than when going through Nigerian airports. Why do I have to be screened again by the NDNDA after going through a full body scan? Why do I have to go through a different checking port for DSS and immigration? That function could be combined such that the immigration officer checks the passenger against a new fly list. Why am I still asked how much currency I'm traveling with when there's a yellow form submitted to immigration with the same question asked? Why do I have to go through a different official checking visa and another one checking me in? Couldn't the same official do both? And why must Travelers always have to be harassed with the question, which you bring for me. To whom it may concern, fixing this problem is not difficult, but it will take all the agencies at the airport working in tandem.